Have you ever saved a special board knowing that you would find the perfect project for it? Well, for me, that perfect project is finally here. The best part about this board is the crotch wood, which gives that dark feathered effect, but it's weaker than straight grain, and it really wasn't fit for the stretcher that I had planned for it, so I figured I'd set it aside and turn it into a charcuterie board. After all, I don't have enough of those. To keep that crotch from cupping, I'm going to use sliding dovetails, which will double as feet to stand the board up off the counter, making it easier to carry without screwing on some metal handles. The trick to sliding dovetails is to sneak up on the male side. Generally, a few test pieces go into the female side before deciding on which is the perfect fit, but I'm too traditional and send it on the first one. Here's my favorite hole filling solution, black super glue and accelerator spray to quickly fill void so I can start sanding. Earlier, you may have noticed a little router tear out. And to fix that, I'm going to give these edges a slight bevel, which revealed a problem. See, the palm router and my router table were not on the same page or the same depth, and that caused this bit of an issue. So I'm deciding to fill it with some actual wood because I think that it looks better than just shoving some glue and some sanding dust in there. Now I know I may not have convinced you to use your special boards, but I hope to at least teach you a foolproof food bearing board finishing process, which starts with a water spritz to raise the grain. After that's all dried up, it's time to knock the grain back down with some sanding. Now you can wipe off any of the dust and grab that mineral oil, but don't apply too much. After all, it is a laxative and we don't need to give this board the runs. After half an hour, you'll start to notice some of these dry spots where the oil has started to soak into the board. Give the board a quick wipe to remove any of the excess and go ahead and move on to the final step applying a top coat such as Keaton Byers homemade board conditioner available on my website. Simply wipe it on, let it sit for another half an hour and buff off any of the excess. This is a symbol of my attempt not to keep, but use and enjoy the best boards that I find.